Have you ever seen a Christmas tree that looks like this? Probably have, most notably in church, right? You've seen a Christmas tree that looks like this. It's in the lobby of your church and it has symbols all over it, a fish, a flower, a cross, weird Greek letters. And you've always wondered, what is this? Uh, this is the chrismon tree. Chrismon is a compound word of the words Christ and monogram. And it basically is a tree that tells us about Jesus. A Christmas tree that tells us about the birth of our King. Well, at Walden Church, we have one of these in our Family Life Center. And we decided it would be a good idea to walk through the different ornaments every single day as a winter devotion from now all the way until Christmas Day. And today we are going to look at the dogwood flower. Now the botanical name for dogwood is Cornus, and it is a genus of about 30 to 60 species of woody plant. Plants from the dogwood family are highly conspicuous over the winter period due to their brightly colored stems. Now, believe it or not, dogwood twigs were used by early American pioneers to brush their teeth. They would peel off the bark, bite the twig, and then scrub their teeth. Some artisans also favor dogwood for small projects like walking canes, longbows, mountain dulcimers, and fine inlays. What does dogwood symbolize? Well, dogwood flowers are most often used as symbols for rebirth. These flowers are closely connected to Christianity, so that meaning makes sense. However, dogwood flowers are also connected to durability and the ability to withstand various challenges in life. Now, interestingly enough, there are no dogwood species that are native to the Middle East where Christianity first developed, but its symbolism is strongly tied to Christianity. I think one of the most common meanings of the dogwood tree has to do with the idea of resurrection and rebirth. And typically, through the story of Jesus Christ, it is often viewed as a depiction of all of Christianity. Well, even though there's no mention of the dogwood flower in the Bible, when I see the dogwood on our tree, I think of Matthew 6, 28 and 29 at Christmas time. The verse says, why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Is Christmas a time of worry and anxiousness? You bet. We're worried about plans, getting everything on our shopping list, travel, cooking. Where are the in-laws going to sleep? Christmas brings a whole mess of worry and anxiousness. Do you have a flower ornament on your tree? You should, because looking at it reminds us all not to worry. Jesus took care of everything for us with his life. Merry Christmas.